Yo, what is going on guys? Gripper back here with another video for you guys today. In this video, we're going to be talking about why 2022 Top Series 2 has the potential to be the greatest set of the last decade. So before we get to that, let's plug the giveaway as always. Giving away a Nando Series 2 rookie. All you guys have to do is be subscribed. Now, you need to be publicly subscribed. So when you comment, and I look through my analytics, I need to see that you are publicly subscribed. So when I look through my analytics, there'll be a red circle with a video logo in it. They'll tell me how long you've been subscribed for. I need to see you're publicly subscribed. Like this video and comment who had the most hits last year. So let's get into the video. So this video is inspired for many reasons. One, these guys in spring training are going on an absolute terror and will be called up to the majors sooner rather than later. One. Two, the 2022 Series 1 checklist is so weak that anything will be better than Series 1. Wander aside, honestly, there's no one in, in Series 1. We could all admit that, right? We could all sit here and admit that, correct? Okay. And two, or three, um, the projected prospects this year that are supposed to come up are absolutely phenomenal to the point where Series 2 is going to be a hell of a good set. So I have a whole list here of people I want to talk about on this notepad here in front of me, uh, as well as talk about some of them and who to look out for for June when Series 2 comes out. Now, it all depends uh, uh, also on um, when these guys get called up. Assuming most of these guys get called up in May uh, or, or even um, opening day because the whole service time manipulation thing was kind of changed. So we could see these guys in two weeks in the big leagues. So if that's the case, they'll be in Series 2. If not, they'll be an update. But for the title of this video, we're just going to call it Series 2. Now, they may be an update. Who knows? But we're just going to call it Series 2 for now. So that way, it don't get confusing. So before we get into that, I want to show you what I picked up at my local Walmart on Restock Day yet again. Restock Day was yesterday now, as you're watching this video. And here's what I picked up. So, nothing special, just two more Series 1 hangers. Uh... To go with this pile of a collection right now this is like there's like eight blasters there nine including that one two opening days uh eight uh no wait so there's six there's one behind there there's seven so there's nine hanger boxes now yeah it's safe to say that i bought enough of series one don't you think i'm just gonna stack these up on the on the pile it's safe to say that i bought enough of this don't you think well, Heritage is supposed to come out next week in retail, so I, I think my days of buying Series 1 are over. Especially since fat packs at Walgreens are $10, and I, I, I haven't seen any fat packs yet at Target or uh, Walmart, so I didn't buy any of those yet. So, let's get into it. So, guys who are confirmed to be in Series 2. Alright, we're going to talk about these guys just a little bit for each 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 guy. O'Neill Cruz. Now, I spoke about him last video, or a couple videos ago. Here's some O'Neill Cruz Heritage rookies right here. So, he is confirmed to be in Series 2 because he was in the last two games of the regular season last year. So, he will be in Series 2. Great guy to look out for. And those rookie cards I told you I bought for like 2 bucks are now like 7 or $8. So, you guys want to keep an eye on him because he's probably going to be... He's probably going to be called up on opening days. He will definitely, if not be... Um, on the opening day roster, he'll be back in like first week of May. So he'll here's another guy to look out for. Next one, another pirate, Ronzi Contreras. Now, if you don't know about Ronzi, we acquired him with the Jose uh, Jamison Tyone trade last year. Uh, Ronzi has elite stuff. You know, he topped about 101 miles an hour on his fastball starting pitcher. Another great guy to look out for. He will also be in Series 2 because he pitched one game at the end of the season last year. So he'll be in Series 2 as well. Another guy who was confirmed to be in Series 2, Shane Boz. Shane Boz was a ex-Pirate prospect. Uh, first round pick went to the um, Toronto or uh, Tampa Bay Rays in the uh, horrible, unspoken of at this point, Chris Archer trade for Pittsburgh. Um, it'll go down as Pittsburgh's worst trade ever. We sent Meadows, Glass now, and Boz for Archer. <laughs> terrible trade we don't want to speak about that here in pittsburgh no more so okay those are the three guys who are confirmed to be in series two now let's talk about who's potentially in series two now like i said this all depends if they get called up at the start of the season 
or in May. So if they get caught up in May, they're going to be an update. If they get caught up now, they'll be in Series 2. So keep an eye out for this. Okay, so first one we got. The 2019 first round first pick, Adley Rushman. Now he is projected to be on the opening day roster for the Orioles, if not in May. Like I said, the whole service time thing all depends. But I've got the open, we're opening two packs as well. I'm just talking right now on this uh, thing. Now, this guy is probably 100% going to be on the opening day roster for the Royals, Bobby Witt Jr. Uh, Bobby Witt is regarded as the number one prospect right now in MLB, rightfully so. Uh, Adley, I think, is two. Depending on who you talk to, those guys flip-flop number one or number two. But those are the top two guys in the uh, prospect ranking right now. Again, elite catcher, uh, desperately Orioles need help, and he's going to provide it. Uh, now we're going to the Tigers. So the last two are Tigers. We got Spencer Torkelson, who I believe was 2020, I think 2020. Yeah, it had to have been 2020. First pick overall. Again, great first baseman will provide Tigers help that they need to push towards a playoff run. Uh, they're going to get sooner, or they're going to get better sooner rather than later. Uh, over there in Detroit. Um, and then the last one we got here is Riley Green. Now, funny enough, I actually have a Riley Green autograph. Now, I got this. My grandparents gave me this, uh, a box of Pro Debut, uh, 2021 Pro Debut for my birthday. And this is one of the autographs I pulled out of the box. Uh, by far the best autograph in the box, obviously. Uh, he is regarded as the 10th best prospect in MLB Pipeline right now. And he should also be making his debut um, this year, uh, pr probably in May. Now, he'll definitely be in May. Uh, Spencer Torkelson, we might see at the start of the year, but I think we'll see him in May. Like I said, all these guys, um, it's weird because this whole service time manipulation thing was kind of all messed around with. Um, it's It's really weird. I don't know, because here's the thing. If you keep your guys down, you keep the year of eligibility. But if they end up finishing first or second place in rookie of the year voting, it counts as a year, uh, a year off their you know eligibility. So it's really weird right now. Like Some teams want to hold these guys off, but others, like O'Neill Cruz, for example, um, the NL rookie class is really, really weak. Um, O'Neill Cruz is probably... Like, 90% sure, unless some guy comes out of the blue to an NL Rookie of the Year, uh, you know. But when it comes to the AL, um, the AL is a little bit different, so you just got to keep an eye out for that stuff. Uh, AL a little bit different than the NL. But that's it, guys, you know. Um, keep this in mind. I 100% I, I, I agree. I 100% think that Series 2 this year is going to be the best set of the decade. It will outbeat 2018 uh, update in the long run. Mark my words. If these guys are all in Series 2, or even update. Let's say they're all in update, right? Except O'Neal, Ronzi, and Shane Boggs, right? Those other guys I mentioned, let's say they're all in update. And even then, O'Neal, Ronzi, and those other guys are going to get, um, what's it called? Rookie debut cards. So they're going to be update as well. So... It's either going to be Series 2 or Update are going to be the greatest set of the decade. Mark my words. These guys all have the potential to be elite. Like, they all do. There's nice A's. They all have the potential. You know, I think they're going to show that, too. And nice Tatis. You know, it all depends, guys. So, I just wanted to make a video, a positive video, because you guys all demand for a positive video. So, I'm a man of my word. I gave you a positive video today. Um, these are the guys to look out for. In 2022 Series 2 or 2022 update, I hope they're in Series 2 because if they're in Series 2, that means we've got another rookie card of them in update. So with that being said, guys, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Let me know in the comment section who you're most excited for this year in, in Series 2 or update. Uh, me personally, I mean, aside from O'Neal Cruz and Ronzi Contreras, I'm not going to be biased. I'm a Pirates fan, of course. Um, I'm probably most excited for probably Bobby Wood Jr., or Adley Rushman. One of the two. I don't know. I think Bobby Witt has a higher ceiling, though, so I might be more on Bobby Witt at this point. That, that might change uh, uh, come the time uh, they make their debut. So, guys, that is it for this video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.